In this video, I'm going to go over the central door locking kit. Pal, there you go. This one here is an aftermarket one. It's made by Omega. The model of it is a DS kit 4.4. The way this one here works is pretty straightforward, as it is for most aftermarket kits. Uh, but before I get into this nitty gritty, let me just show you so that way you understand exactly what I'm working with, how I'm doing what I'm doing. So that way, if you need to bench your own equipment at home or in your vehicle, your driveway, or wherever the heck you are, this is how I'm doing it. I have uh, over here, I have two wires which run over there to my power supply. That's all I'm doing. Just a simple 12 volt, two wire power DC power supply. Nothing really extravagant. The most fancy thing, if you want to call it that, is my test light. This is a Matco power probe and it throws ground and power. So 12 volt positive negative. And it also has a built in uh, override so in case I, you know, beep something, I've got a way out. Okay, so here we go. Now this here is the main module, okay? So in, if you're doing uh, a fresh new installation, you want to add central door locks. If you have a vehicle which has a uh, vacuum door lock system, that's not going to genuinely apply to what I'm doing here, although it be very fair to say that you can mistake the vacuum door locking system for a central door locking system. So first off, let me explain to you what is the difference. A, a vacuum system works in, in such a way where it's, it's half electronic and it's half mechanical. So in, in this case, you could send an electrical pulse to this, to this one motor, and this would be connected to actually a vacuum line, like in an old car with a carburetor or in an air conditioning system or whatever else is run by, you know, pneumatic air pressure. This system here would actually put pressure into a line which would have valves and tee off and whatever and go to all the other actuators in the vehicle. So that way when you get in the car and you push, say, down, up or down, you on the driver door, the master door, we call that the master actuator, and these would all be called slave motors. And it would create that action to all the other ones. That is a really lousy system. They used to be using a lot of, uh, you know, those real old gangster-style Mercedes-Benz with the double-thick glass and the actuator pump was in the trunk. I mean, it was a nightmare. Whenever you had to add keyless or fix them, man, those little things were always a pain in the ass. But, you know, nowadays it's still not uncommon to find central door locking systems. And the reason why is because they actually have a lot of advantages over a standard type of deal where you just hit lock and then the all lock, you hit unlock, the all unlock. You know, maybe you'll see that or you see two-step unlocking, but that's done with additional relays, whatever. For, for the central locking system, which I got going on here... Master driver door lock actuator, three slave motors with a twist. This kit actually comes with two masters. So like I showed you, when you do the master on the driver door, for instance, it would do that same action on all the other three slave motors. This one here has two master motors. How that's accomplished? Although I'm using all five wire door lock actuators, the pre-wired harness is set up for two five wires and two two wire scenarios and I'll show you how that works because I don't want to get all complicated and be confusing because that's not my intention over here on the harness that the pre-wired harness there's two of these which are two wires so these would be for slave motors so this kit can only do two master door lock actuators and two slave motors this is an uncommon kit and it's made by Omega and you always know I'm talking about Omega I love Omega I might as well just go to bed with them because I just love their stuff for a dirt cheap price of what they give you, they give you a lot for your money. So that's why I always tell you people, if you're going to buy some stuff, man, get some Omega stuff because it's good stuff. So very much in any kit, whether it be aftermarket such as this or in, an, or in a stock application. So I don't know what your deal is. If you're trying to fix one, modify one, add something, enhance your car, whatever you're doing, they're all going to have something like this, okay? All this is is basically two relays, a couple resistors for overload protection, maybe a couple diodes for, you know, circuit protection. And all it is is a couple of relays, traces on a little board, and a harness. Very straightforward. Nothing really exciting going on here. If you would actually take these wires, it would basically be pre-wired five-wire relay sockets. So for this scenario, these two, uh, if I could find the other one, these here are negative trigger input wires. So these would go to the coil of the relay. You could hear it clicking right there, which is causing the system to do an unlock function. White would be 
the opposite, which is locked. So you got these two, which would be like either 85 or 86 on your relay. And you're going to have ground and power because you have to have that to, of course, make the relay go. And then you're going to have your two outputs. Now the outputs, let me put this back in the box before I cook something. The outputs control to the master door lock actuator. And now the actuator on the master side acts kind of like a three-way switch if you're familiar with home AC electrical. If not, that's cool. Don't, don't sweat it. But to make it, to dumb it down a little bit, the way it works is that you're going to have ground, you're going to have two wires which you're going to rest at, at a solid ground. You're going to switch to DC. So it's, when it's DC AC, it's locked. When it's reversed, it does unlock. And then it's going to throw the same voltages out through this harness to your slave motors, which receive two wires. And they just do whatever, whatever Big Daddy here does, Little Baby does right here. That's really all there is to it. So that's the, to, the way to demystify, if you want to say, central door locks. Now, if you have a central door lock kit and you really don't care about it, uh, you're just trying to get it working for selling the car, fixing it, or you just broke and you're just trying to make it happen, you can substitute a five-wire motor for a two-wire. And the proof is here. Here's a five-wire motor. See three wires are hanging. Two wires are going to it. As you already know, it works just the same. It's not any more heavy-duty or less heavy-duty than the other one. You can substitute these all day long, but however, if you have a central lock and kit and you don't want to bastardize it, you have to keep at least one of these in play. So a five-wire motor is a must-have for an electrical central door locking system. And that's pretty much it, man. I, I just was so glad and blessed that I got away from the computer. I've been an Amazon zombie listing for hours. So this is nice to get my hands into something and do something once again. I'm sorry if I haven't been around in the videos enough lately, but this, that's the reason why. So that's pretty much it, man. So that's, that's tonight's video. Central locking kit. If you got any questions or you want to get your hands on one of these kits or you just want to poke my brain about something else regarding it, shoot me a message and I'll help you guys out just like I always do.